Kadashla. Um, I had to look that look down for a second. What's up, friends? It's day eleven of the thirty day Pimsleur Learn Turkish with Me challenge. Um, yeah, it's day eleven. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this quickly. I finished over an hour ago. I got distracted because uh. Jin from BTS has been released from the military and all the guys were there to greet him beautiful hugs that haven't happened in like eight months to a year and um it was beautiful and I do lots of screenshots and watch videos over and over again and then message in the group BTS chat and now that that's done I can get back to my Turkish my Turkish lesson review okay um yeah I am a BTS army so, um, chapter 11, we got a lot of new words that were kind of like back to back to back. I started highlighting, um, my new words yellow now. Um, so you can see we, we got a few, we got a few, um, some of them were repeat offenders, not repeat offenders, but, um, asking you know, is it one o'clock? Is it two o'clock? Is it three o'clock? So we, we did more emphasis on time overall. Um, at the beginning of this lesson, the um, narrator, he goes, Ozaman means then and in that, in that case, or in that case, then. And I'm just like, okay, thank you for that tidbit. And then he starts the conversation and, um, Amongst the conversation, impossible was a winner. Um, it's like impossible for this chick to meet at five o'clock to get drinks. Um, but four is fine. So, sat besh olmash, ama sat bet olur. So, five o'clock is impossible. But four o'clock's good. We, we can meet at four. We can meet at four. And then they pulled in like chapter two and three, where Nara day, where are you gonna meet up? Where are we gonna meet to drink? Nara day, Ichilim. Hotel day, we're back at the hotel. I also wonder, um, so while in Turkey, we didn't go to restaurants a lot. It wasn't like common. Every, you just go from people's house to people's house. But I wonder if it's because it was like a family thing and had so many families to see that I haven't seen in forever. Or is it just like a Turkish people thing? But then I don't remember, I didn't see a lot of locals in restaurants. It was very touristic. Um, and, or it was like a whole bunch of um, older tezas. I guess I can say, um, drinking chai and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Don't get me on smoking cigarettes. Um, I would say tobacco in Turkey is different. Um, I don't have, uh, as reactory response. I have a lot of allergies. One of them definitely being cigarette smoke. Um, once I, it gets into my, like, my mouth and I breathe it in, I lose all taste on my tongue so um going out and going to restaurants around smokers it's so much fun it, it really isn't um but there's a kind of um i don't want to say assimilation but it's less uh, i also don't want to say it's less toxic but the cigarette smoke is is different maybe it's a little more pure it doesn't have as many fillers as the american smoke but i think it has nauseous being around it but I was really happy when I was not around people who smoked. I'll say that. I'll say that. Because about my family, I'm, I'm like that. But it's such like a Turkish thing. Everyone smokes. Grandmas, like 15-year-olds, like grandpas. Um, you'll, people on the porch during family dinner and they smoke. It's smoking and drinking chai. Um, not as much coffee. Mainly, mainly chai. Chai is water there. So, uh, oh, that's what I was getting at. So I don't see people actually 
just chilling at hotel restaurants unless they're staying at hotel restaurants. So I'm not sure why in all these scenarios we're meeting at hotels to drink at the bar or they're not even bar. They're just like where we're going to go to eat and drink is always at the hotel. That's like in Toxum, um, Medina or um, Yada or Yada um, Tokapa Sarie. <laughs> those are those are places we're eating and drinking. Okay, so um Sat Uchmu, are we doing it at three? Um Sat Beshme, are we doing it at five? So it goes back and forth and they were like, Hey, by the way, um, since we're back at you know this restaurant, um, what do you want to do after this, right? And so we go back to um Yakmak in Alishvarish. So we want to do shopping after. So new words. New words. Um, Azaman. That's then. So to do something. And then we do this. So, oh, let's eat. And then go shopping. Right? So, Ozaman. Uh, another word is, this was hard for me. Tekra lion. Tekra lion. That means repeat. So you're just throwing in repeat. And I was like, wait, was that the word? Or was it actually just telling me repeat, the word repeat? Um, because he was like, uh, Tech Lion. Tech Lion. I'm like, okay, repeat, repeat. Alta. I was like, Alta or Tech Lion? I don't know what I should be repeating right now. Um, so we learned the numbers six and seven this lesson. And 10 minutes later, the number 10. Like, yay! So we have six, alta, yidi for seven, on for 10. So we have one through 10 now as our options for what time we're going to do something. Bear, iki, uch, dirt, besh, alta, yidi, sekis, dokus, on. Um, so yeah, we've got one through 10. So we have all the times and that we can know. I mean, 11 and 12 is on the clock too. Okay, so we don't know all the times on the clock, but one through 10 is important. And um, after going through what time, what time, um, the at preface. Um, crap, I don't remember English. Is at a conjunction word? No. I don't know what the word at is in a sentence because apparently I forgot English sentence structure, but depending on vocal harmony, it's um, de or da. So alta, da, yedi, de, at seven, yedi, de, alta, da, at six, um, on, da, at 10, so sat on da. And then we had a few more sentences about either emphasis or, or implied or, or literal or. So the implied or is the double question mark. We're like at six o'clock question mark, seven at seven o'clock question mark. Um, so you do sat also deme, yedi deme, yeah, me. So it's the me, me, me question marks. If it's an implied or, you're giving two options. But if you are, I think it's you're giving a statement, you can say sat, ber, de, yada, meaning or, iki, de, iki da. So at one or at two. The context, I'm assuming, is when it's implied, you're giving options, but it's like options question mark. You take out the y uh, the yada, but if it's like almost a statement, like, oh, I could do either or, then it's yada in the, the sentence. Um, don't really have grammar tools, you know, in this, so trying my best. 
So after we go on clocks for a while and tech the lion for repeat, then we get, all right, what's the evening? Bu Aksham is evening, this evening specifically. So Bu must mean this. Bu Aksham. And then after Bu Aksham, we learn evening. Tomorrow, Yarin. Tomorrow. And then we learn um, Din Layin is listen. And then he goes for future lessons. Instead of saying repeat and li or listen and repeat, we're going to say Dun la Din, Dun la Yen, Ve, Tekralan. Layan. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. Okay. The word ve is for and. So listen and repeat. Dun layan ve tekra layan. Repeat. Okay. Um, dun layan, listen and repeat. Then we learned the word for today, bugan. And then the phrase, see you tomorrow. Yaren gorushorush. Gorushorush is tomorrow. Or no, see you, see you. Because Yaren is tomorrow. So a lot of times of day, I thought I wrote them all in a row so then I wouldn't mix them up. But I didn't. I All the old words that <laughs> I weren't, I put together. Ozaman, then. Olor, fine. Olmas, impossible. Ozaman, olor, olmas. Then, fine, impossible. Um, tomorrow, yarin. Today, bugun. Yarin, bugun. Today, tomorrow. And I swear there was another one. Mm, no, they added. Oh, they were just like, how would you say, thank you, but this evening is impossible. Take sure. I, <laughs> take share or did I? Ama. Bu aksham olmas. Thank you, but ama. This evening, bu aksham olmas. Impossible. Yeah. Um. Twelve minutes seems good to me. I've got to pack for a work trip tomorrow and um, and try not to get distracted by uh, Jen and Jimin and J-Hope and RM and JK and V reuniting all together for the first time since December. Um, and it's beautiful. And yeah. So, on that, go to Shadoosh, see you tomorrow, and um, I really like Gulay Gulay. So, maybe I'll stick with Gulay Gulay. So, Benam Admin Fatma, Gulay Gulay, and Fatma is my name, Fatima, in Turkish. So, Benam Admin Fatma, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I can say tomorrow now. Yarin, go to Shadoosh. Bye!